And hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart Number Two another brand new video for the tutorials of GS. In today's tutorial, we're gonna take a look at Photoshop and how to create uh, basically outlines of an object that sort of glow. If you saw if you saw my uh, Patreon video, you saw in the background how I designed my uh, my banner for my gaming channel. If you take a look at my gaming channel, also you'll see that I sort of have these outlined objects with a nice blue glow to it. You should see a screenshot of my gaming channel right now, and you should see the banner at the very top. You see I have like a controller there that has a nice outlined glow, as well as a power button that's a nice outlined glow as well. I don't really know what the exact design term for this uh, type of design is, so I'm just going to call it outlining an object. Um, but it's very easy to do actually, and you can make some really neat designs like this. So what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new document here on Photoshop. And uh, let's make this 800 by 600, like so. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab this controller here that I got, which is a PNG file. And before you do this, you actually want to make sure that your mode from your image, you go up to image mode, make sure this is set to RGB. Sometimes it'll be set to grayscale. Make sure it's set to R RGB though. So then we can go ahead and drag in our controller here. And you can use any object you want really. And we want to go ahead and rasterize this layer. Right click over here and click rasterize layer. And go ahead and grab your magic wand tool here. And this will create a selection around the controller. Now what we want is only an outline of this controller. So we're going to go ahead and go to uh, select the select menu up here. Then go to modify and go ahead and click expand and expand this by depending on, depending on how large your object is you may want to do five pixels you may want to do four pixels but essentially it gives you this nice outline here and you see we have that now like i said if you want to have a larger outline you need to expand it by more then go up to select click inverse and then just go Control x which is cut or you can also go up to edit just and click cut not copy cut and it'll give you this outline so here we have our outline already and in fact if you just wanted to do this you'd be pretty much done and you could just save this as a png file however if you want to get more creative you can actually add some patterns on top of this you can add some textures on top of this you can add some different colors and different glows on top of this that's very easy to do so if you want to add a texture on top of this all you got to do really is i'm going to show you how to do it with the paint bucket tool however it's very similar i don't have a texture with me right now so I mean, maybe I'll get one real quick. Okay, I actually just basically created a quick gradient texture here. But you obviously probably have a much better texture than this. You got one off of Google probably. Or you made one yourself. So let's say I have this texture right here. This is just a layer. Say you just dragged your texture into Photoshop and it looked like that, right? It looked this big. What you can do is very similarly, click your little controller layer here, or your object, which is your outline right here. Go ahead and hold down the Alt key and press the layer here and what you'll see is they'll create a selection around or is it control click i think it's is it all click or control click? i can barely see that even oh yeah, it's control click what you can also do is just click right click here and click select pixels and that'll work just as well so once you have select pixels completed what you can do is go ahead and uh show this top layer texture here and then all you gotta do is uh, once again, inverse, go to select, inverse, control X, and you see this nice looking texture. It's really cool. So that's kind of how you do it. However, what you can also do is add different glows. So for example, say I don't want to just add a texture. Say I want to add a uh, specific color just. So what we can do is we're going to go ahead and delete this texture here. Very similarly, you right click, select pixels here. And say I want to use a greenish. Say I want to use a darkish green like so, right? And we're going to go ahead and once again, grab our... You can use your paintbrush tool as well. And you can just color over it. Make sure you always do select inverse uh, when you select your pixels. Because sometimes we'll be coloring basically outside of the controller's pixel selected. So here we colored everything green, right? 
Now, if we want to add like a glow to this, we can do that very well as we can do that very easily as well. So we're going to go ahead and create a new layer, layer, new layer, press OK. And make sure you drag this layer underneath like so. And this time, make sure you go to select again, deselect and grab your magic wand tool here. And just go ahead and make sure on your controller layer and magic wand select the controller that way we are selecting the the outside of it like that and this time very similarly we go up to select again modify expand once again and you can expand it by four or five i'm going to expand it by four uh we did forget it you have to inverse it first because i see it shrinks basically we don't want it to shrink we want it to expand so uh, select inverse select modify uh, contract you can also use that'll do the opposite basically so four is fine and we have expanded here and now let's get a, let's get a lighter green here to get the nice glow coming off so something like that maybe and make sure that you're doing this once again on your second layer here that you just created and go ahead and grab your paint bucket tool which should be right here and just go ahead and do that now once you have this what we're going to do is go back to our controller outline layer which is right here and grab your magic wand tool again go ahead and press right here and then just and when you have that selected go to your uh, green layer here your glow layer and you go ahead and press Control x and that will cut it out make sure you don't cut from this layer because nothing will happen you gotta cut you gotta select from your outline layer and then cut from your glow layer here so now that we have that green here we have a secondary outline like that right so now what we can do is make sure you go to select and deselect everything which we have deselected good and stay on your glow layer go to filters blur and go to gaussian blur and we can make this as high as we want really uh, not too high though maybe something like that and you can obviously uh, duplicate this as many times as you would want go to duplicate layer the more times you duplicate the stronger the glow what you can also do is change this layer mode to say for example we duplicate once more say you can uh, change this layer mode to dodge which would be uh, right here, color dodge and you can get something like that that looks fairly good too uh, can we try this one right here yeah, uh, color dodge is good too. Uh, just move these layers around a bit. Play with some of the uh, layer uh, layer uh, settings right here, the layer modes, and duplicate this as many times as you would want. And once you kind of have what you're looking for, uh, you can basically just uh, save this as a PNG file, and then you can use this for any of your designs. But it's a neat little trick on how to create, you know, object outlines and cr and add your own little touch to it. Whether you want to add a gradient to it, a texture to it, some glows to it. You can do all kinds of cool stuff and you can make some awesome banners, some awesome designs. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you learned something. It's very easy to do. I, I, do, I will be making a GIMP equivalent to this. I know some of you don't have Photoshop, so you want to see the GIMP version of this. I will be making that one very soon. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of other Photoshop tutorials as well as different software tutorials on the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. I'll definitely down there answering any questions you have. And yeah, that's pretty much this video. Thank you for watching. As always, I also have a gaming channel, a vlogging channel, a music channel, and an advice channel, as well as a Patreon. If you want to check any of that out, links are in the description, as well as on the end card that you're about to see. Thank you for watching, as always. And with that, this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.